ain't nothing in your hand. Freak, freak. You're not gonna lose him. Come on, we almost got him. Oh, no, 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 no. That was close. Go, go, go. What's good, everybody? This is your boy Tay the American. I am back with another sign video. All right, guys, a lot has happened in the previous video. We finally took over the Jack and Tribe. Not only did we take over, but we, we like we combined forces with them. Now they on our side, and we have a stronger tribe all together. So at the end of the day, we're just trying to do what's best for the world, and not just trying to be the strongest people out of here, like they were. Like the um the jacket trap was. And that's why I end up, you know, um actually being with the Mirad for um tribe in the first place because I believe in their wishes. So before we even get any further into this video and everything else, y'all already know. Let's go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. And click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content. And make sure you like these videos because all of that is very appreciative and it helps me out a lot. It also gives me it gives me a gives me a better understanding on what y'all like and help me put out more videos of what y'all like. But let's get into this video. Alright, so today we're gonna go uh, find this guy that Gizmo told us about I think a few uh, few videos back. We don't know how important he is. But looks like he's gonna help us as far as getting all the tools and stuff needed to be able to go against the world eaters. Hope y'all having a good day today so far. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's stop real quick. I wanna show y'all something. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna be tripped out. So the other day. I was looking at the story and um, the side quest and the main quest. And I look at the bottom left thing literally says I only finished 5% of the game. 5%. I don't made six videos on this on this game already. Six videos. And you telling me throughout those six videos and those long, long behind hours or whatever I, or gameplay I put in. You're telling me I only finished 5% of this game. But you know what? It's all good because I love games like this. I mean, the longer it takes, the better. So let's go ahead and head over to this location. Let's see how far we are for right now. Where we at? Um, so this is where we're headed to right here. And this is our current location. It ain't really that far. Probably 400 um, meters out. Sound like somebody following me. Seems like your mound likes you well enough. You better. I fed you. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. The Dead Village zone. of Blood. That's nasty. Let's see. The heck is this place? It just sounds so dead here. I wasn't even expected to come here. Looks like peaceful people mind their own business. Why is it called Dead Zone? Oh well. I'm just passing through, guys. I'm not a threat. You don't have to worry about me. Whoa, you jumped high as heck.
Don't hurt yourself too much, man. I don't want you dying on me. Hi, folks. It's this one. Let's hurry up and get out of this zone. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. That looks like that's who we're looking for. Let's hurry up. I'll be right back, buddy. I'm sorry to take damage. Go. Come on, go, go, go. All right. Stories keep weird. moving whether you drive me. them or not. Let's see. I just can't believe I literally pissed on the spots I'm supposed to be going to. <laughs> What's good, man? This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. How you know me? Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. And choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. Like it's train, hard like to make train. those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. You pick who lives, you kill whoever you like. Cool. Claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. <laughs> Says it's wild oh, that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Man, Wonders why you work so hard you, to man. keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Says they, Lemma. but enough of that, right? Lemma. He it's says the wild nature has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Why does man voice sound like he's on a whole nother low? Like, I'm not ready for him at all. Right. He sound very thinks that it all hangs on the, on the tree of life. When it started to fail, everything changed. Good. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. That's what I've been Fortunately doing. for you, you he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. But I'm an There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Hmm. I'd rather shoot, but I'm ready to hunt. Okay, is it far? Yeah. Says it's not far at all. Fortunately for you, the squips seem to have acclimatized themselves to the otherwise uninhabitable dead zone. Hmm. Well, I appreciate your help, my guy. But I'll be heading on now. Uh, Even the sound seems sharper here. Wow, well, I need your help, buddy. Let's go. Yeah. Hurry up and get out of this zone. I think I'll take a damage. 
I ain't got time to fight. Oh, I am taking damage. Yeah, I boy, I see us getting bigger. All right, there we go. It's going down. Is that Wait, more? it's the Scrip Holup. Place is just filled with critters. No. <laughs> They're the only reason why I made it over here because I had to get on top of my mount. Like, the only way I don't take too many damage is if I'm not on my mount. And, like, if I'm on my mount. But once I just get off of it, it's like I don't take damage. It's crazy. See, y'all see this? Like, what the heck? I haven't heard the thing. Smash me, Dash. Free. Oh, let's go. Let's see if I can make it through without that. Come on. Go. Go. Free. Did I come? I went this way. Uh, we ain't got enough here. Right. The world is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Alright. Uh, you can barely see that out here, too. It's like. Maybe I wasn't ready for this. My health regeneration is not fancies. Come on, let's go. This is crazy, like I'm literally in. Huh. You know, this is the Once only the volatilization place. from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Hey. I need to find a way over there. Okay. Uh, you barely see here, man. I want to follow that Tassi stuff. It's so weird. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. What the freak? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, I see what you're No, 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 Ah, way harder than I thought, man. Alright, uh I'll scribble what call. Ah. Come here. All yours now. All y'all are in here. You can make something from that. <laughs> Alright. Alright, one more. What's the last? Huh? Trying to get away. Netted a critter. All right, now it says find a lock. Did I find a weapon? 
<laughs> What's that? Bang biscuit juice go what? <laughs> Oh boy. Let's see how I shoot. That's not even what I'll shoot. Let's see. Oh, uh, this. Night gives you relief. Oh, from the day. okay, okay. I like that. I don't freak. What the? Oh, this allows me to shoot two weapons. So how do I get out of here? Uh, wait, uh. You need to line up the switches so they match. Okay, okay, uh. Alright. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Bristles hey. like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they uh. match. Yeah. All right, so what does that do? That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. All right, let's get up out of here. Let's go. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I think I need you. Yeah. What is that? Off a group or blade. That's so weird behind it. Alright. Yeah, it's going up higher. I need to find a way out of here. Oh, never mind. I'm good. Alright, um, where am I now? Oh, I think I can just leave now. Let's get up out of here. I'm beat y'all this time. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Something I thought. Ain't got no help. It's becoming terminal. Why do not take the damage? He's almost done for, come on. I probably should just leave, but I don't want to. All right, that's one down, one more to go. Come on, get him, get him. Dang it, I'm about to lose, no, no. We can't lose him. Come on, we almost got it. Oh, no, 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 no. It was close. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, we're here. Yeah.
It's pretty rough getting out of that place. Like, but I made it, so let's see what Gizmo has to say. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Hmm. Go through, go. Oh, it's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Oh, okay. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. Done her again. That's the jungle puff. Yeah, I definitely wasn't gonna be able to beat him. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He's sure you remember enough of what he taught you about upcycling to fit some scronky gear to the Mecton on your own. Gizmo wants to help if he can. I must be going. We'll be around when you return. Well, guys, it looks like I'm um, finally prepared to fight one of the world eaters. We're using the MK, the Mechaton, whatever it's called. To beat him, cause kinda of find out he's bigger than I thought. So I'ma leave that for another video. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Prepare, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Click that notification bell so you won't miss out any of my upcoming content. And please make sure you like my videos. And I'll see y'all guys.